Before I was in the band Fuse, uh, I was a classically trained violinist from a really young age and when I was 18 I signed my first record deal. Since fronting the American rock group, I uh, moved on to forge my own solo career on the electric violin and then it was just the natural progression into Fuse. Classically trained since I was about five, um, I started playing around the clubs with my old man, he's a guitarist in my early teens and uh, I went on to the Royal College of Music, learnt my, uh, my classical stuff and really um, found the niche for myself as an improvising electric violinist, doing string arrangements for the likes of the Arctic Monkeys or recording with Mel C. I toured with McFly, recorded videos, um, worked with a lot of singer-songwriters. Along with that, as a session player, I like to write and arrange my own music. And hence, when I met Lindsay, and she was doing these headline showcase highlight performances, I thought, that's, that's the stuff. We've got a thing going on here. Um, let's get on stage together. That's a song, isn't it? We've got a thing going on here. We've got a thing. I don't know. <laughs> it is now. We met a few years back. Uh, Lindsay was doing some amazing shows on her own as an electric violinist, and I think for a photo shoot. Wasn't exactly. it? You needed yeah. a fiddle. Yeah, I met Lindsay's manager at Victoria Station, London, and, uh, and I put the fiddle in his boot and he gave me 50 quid. And I, and I hope that he called back, and he did. And he we did. got to work together. Exactly. No, it's worked out to be a really good partnership. And, yeah. you know, you were on board as a kind of like a musical director for a couple of years, and then it just progressed naturally into Fuse. The electric violin for us. Is, is an extension of the classical violin. You know, it's, it grew from the viol in the 1500s into the violin in Italy in the late 1700s. And then here we are today playing on these carbon fiber instruments uh, with electricity just running through them. For us, we feel it works very well with C music because we've got a lot of different um, styles that we can use. We can play the ambient, cinematic stuff. Mm. We've got the classical stuff. Um, we've and got we've got the, got the really sort of rocky, like full-on rock tracks, and we're just trying to bridge that gap between, you know, the sort of old-fashioned view of the classical violin <clears throat> opposed to the sort of more rocky sound of the electric violin. The album that we're working on at the moment it really reflects the kind of stuff that we're into. Um, from cinematic composers like James Horner. We're uh, doing uh, Andreas Johnson's Glorious, which was a really contemporary pop track from the 90s. Yeah, we've got some Mick Jagger and Keith Richards, some Rolling Stones stuff. Definitely. Yeah. And uh, Barber. We've got some Hans Zimmer as well oh, in yeah. there. It sounds just good. Stuff yeah. that we'd listen to at home, but we want to do our own take on it. We're really excited to be over here in Cannes at the moment, uh, filming for C Music TV, which is great for us because um, they are the only music channel at the moment which are really promoting artists such as Fuse. It's a great platform for us to get our music on. You know, the pop industry has had pop channels for years and years and years, and this yeah. gives us a chance to kind of kick off our boots and. Uh, and play our stuff. Exactly. And, um, it just, just gives us that platform yeah. to appeal to a wider audience, which we probably wouldn't have had before. So this is great for us and all other crossover acts yes, in the yes. world. Yes. 